Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q2 of the weekly contest 349, lexicographically uh, smallest string after substring operation. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. So this one, uh, to be honest, I kind of missed the A is converted to Z one. This is not really a for example. This is, uh, this is not an example. This is not an... Uh, a general interpretation of previous character. Previous character of A is not Z. I just thought that you have to. Um, I just thought that you don't. Uh, and that's why I got one wrong answer. Um, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, but basically, you just have to. Uh, there are a couple of observations. Basically, you just have to do greedy. Um, the thing about lexicographically smallest is that you want to, you know, the, if, you, if you're able to minimize the beginning, that's all that matters, right? So you greedily uh, minimize the beginning as much as you can. Um, if you have an A, you don't minimize it because otherwise it becomes a Z. But if it starts with an A, then you could minimize the second and so forth right? because the f first one is optimized. So another way to say that is that you could be like, okay, can I fix the first one? Can I fix it for the second character? and so forth and greedy in that way. Um, the, the only thing that this problem is a little bit tricky about is that you are required to, um, um, the only thing that is required is that uh, you don't, you have to do one, at least one operation. And because you have to do at least one operation, um, if your string is all A's, you have to convert at least one of them to a Z. And that's basically the edge case um, because, I don't know, why, why is this an assumption? Like, why is this an example? But anyway, this is my code. Basically, I go, I skip the beginning A's, and then I see if I can, you know, convert at least one character. And, it, you know, the earlier the better. And then if there's any characters left, of course, we do not convert A. If any characters left, we just put it back on the string. If we did change at least one character, we put, that's the answer. Otherwise, we we move the last character and add a Z. Um, that's what I have with this one. This is linear time, linear space, and it's just uh, uh, observation and greedy. Um, yeah, that's what I have with this one. Let me know what you think, and you can watch me solve a live in contest now. We'll check it out. Well. <laughs> okay, substring. Okay, so you can hit one operation, replace it with the previous character of the alphabet. Okay. Exactly once. Wait, what? Oh, substring. Mm, can you? What about Z? Why wouldn't you always do the, up, the entire string? I think you just do, right? Okay. Is this is easy. No medium. Am I? Oh, 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 I see. Basically, you just do the entire string up to the first A that you see, right? Oh, uh, and that's just beginning with A. Then, yeah, because you cannot convert it to A. Right, okay, yeah. It's always really annoying. To write in Python. Oh, I guess it wasn't that bad actually. Okay, let's go. 
Oh, huh. I... what? Oh, exactly once. And also I missed the part about A to Z. Okay. Wow, what a... what a weird problem. Hmm. Mm. Huh, I rushed this one a little bit. I, I missed... This, huh. This is such a terrible for example. This is not an obvious thing to do. A is converted to Z. It's not a, a, a for example. You have to write it out explicitly. Like you can't just hide in the example. People should not need to read examples. But okay, anyway. So you have to do it exactly once. So that means that if this is not done. Mm. <sighs> okay. If not done, then it's all strings for A, so it's just we just do it once for the last one, right? Should have tested, but still, it's such a weird thing. I mean, it's not even an how can you test this if you mis just misunderstood it, right? So, I don't know. Oh, whoops. Oh, that negative one. Whoops. Uh, almost messed it up. And that's what we test, I guess. Okay, fine. Okay. But uh, it's such a... Don't, don't hide things in the, in, in the example. People don't read example. Or well, people shouldn't need to. That's why it's an example and not the statement. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this prompt, this contest, and everything in between. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.